Hello and uh, my name is Prabhanjan. Uh, I'm a senior curriculum engineer here at Masai. I teach the Mongo Node.js backend part in the uh, in Masai. So today we are going to look at what is MongoDB. So in one of my previous video, I mentioned a database called as MongoDB. If you have not watched that yet, please do check it out. I talk about a lot of things there apart from just MongoDB. In this video, what I'm going to talk is uh, talk about is is what is exactly MongoDB, how you can use that, why it is being used, and why we teach that here at Masai. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what exactly makes MongoDB a popular choice for every company? So, but this video assumes you have a little bit knowledge about what the database is. If you don't, I'll just co quickly go through it. But if you know about what a database is, it will really help you understand what exactly I'm talking about. Okay. So <clears throat> before understanding databases, you first need to know what is a data. A data is nothing but you in when you interact with your any application let's say when you are uploading an image to instagram it could be you are uh, creating a new user you are signing up as a new user on facebook or anything else whenever you generate a whenever you interact with your application it generates your information and that information is nothing but data without uh, without meaning we just call it a data and not an information and that data needs to be stored somewhere right you cannot just have it you cannot just leave it open uh, you need to be store you need to store it somewhere so that you can access it later and that place where you actually store that data is nothing but database now mongodb is just similar to that mongodb is one of the database mongodb is really really popular database it's been used uh, widely for many many programming languages many uh, many startups and companies and so on so what exactly makes mongodb popular let's look at that so there are not just not, mongodb is not so, uh, sole player in the database right so there you must have heard about postgres you must have heard about mysql or any other database mongodb is just an alternative to that what other types of database gives you is something called as sql sql so SQL is nothing but relational data, right? You have your data, it's ordered into a tabular format. There will be columns, there will be rows. The problem with SQL is you have to have, you have to stick to that structure. So if you have, let's say a user who has name age, right? What if you, a user does not mention his age? What if he does not want to mention how old he is? So the problem with relational databases, is you waste a lot of space. He is not mentioning his age, so but you have to in the ta in the table where the relational database is actually storing the data, you have to leave that space blank. And imagine if one million users do this, you are wasting unnecessary space. You are going through whenever you have to find a user whose age is let's say greater than sixty, you have to iterate over lots of lots of records unnecessarily. And that's exactly the problem MongoDB solves for you. What is MongoDB? Uh, uh, opposite to the relational databases, it's non-relational. It's no SQL database. The way that MongoDB stores a data is called as a document. A document can be anything. You want to store a user's information? Go ahead. You want to store next time you want to store a city's information? Go ahead. Next time you want to store a salary information, a company information, laptop, anything that you want, you can just take that information add it to your collection and that is exactly what Mo makes mongodb popular your it does not need, require any specific schema it does not require any format that you have to stick to and because of that the searching makes really really faster mongodb can go through millions and millions of documents with the, within a very very short amount of time mongodb is that exactly the the problem that mongodb solves it makes mongodb a really really good choice for everyone who wants to get started with it and not only that if you are familiar with javascript the way that you make query to mongodb the way that you ask mongodb to store the data to get the data back the apis we call that uh, api of mongodb is very familiar to javascript user you write the queries in javascript itself so that's why you don't have to learn any new language like you have to learn sql sql is a language that is actually interacting with the relational databases like postgres or mysql you don't have to learn that here okay mongodb is very very scalable because the way that it uh, structures itself you can have multiple instances of the same database worldwide you can have let's say one database in russia and you can make easily with just one command you can make a copy of it in usa immediately so the next time if there is a data loss you still have your backup immediately up so that you, uh, the user is not facing any downtime. 
Now, these are just very, very simple, basic uh, things about MongoDB. There is still a lot to learn. It, uh, MongoDB, it makes, a, it's very, very easy to actually process the data as well. It can store any large amount of data that you want. But that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for joining. I'll see you guys next time.